today we take our first look at the Dallas World Aquarium and begin our journey on the outside walking the winding entrance path towards the missions. Here we'll come across many exhibits featuring a wide variety of birds including Bali Minas, Hornbills, Birds of Paradise, Doves, Pigeons, and Cockatoos. We'll also spot a few fish including Asian Arowanas and Banded Archerfish to name a few, as well as a few surprises once we reach emissions. The aquarium itself opened to the public on October 18th, 1992 followed by Orinoco, Secrets of the River, which opened in October of 97, and Munda Maya in April 2002. Near Missions, we find the home of the Machi Street Kangaroo. Found on the Huan Peninsula of northeastern New Guinea, these adorable animals are extremely agile in trees, but not so much on ground. The fur on their neck and back grows in a reverse angle from the rest of the coat, which helps shed water and keep them dry. Mainly browsers, their diet consists of leaves, buds, fruits, and sometimes young birds and bird eggs. It is believed that this species is solitary, with the only strong social bond these animals form is between mother and offspring, they can be found sleeping the majority of the day. The last exhibit on the outside of emissions is home to the shoebill stork. These birds will stand motionless for long periods of time. Shoebills tend to be solitary with breeding pairs feeding at opposite ends of their territory. Inside and on the right, we get two viewing areas, one through the door and one inside the gift shop for the resident fairy penguins. These birds can be found in the waters of New Zealand and Southern Australia in a small, small penguin species, reaching a height of 16 to 17 inches and weighing about two pounds. Making our way up the stairs, we begin our trek through the Orinoco Secrets of the River exhibit. Jungle Jewels is home to many beautiful colored birds and was built so that we could observe these birds building their nest and taking care of their young. Here we'll spot scaled pigeons, white crowned mannequin, Waddle Jacana. Gianian Red Katinga. Yellow Shouldered Blackbird. Paradise Tanger. Next up is Jungle Junction, home to a variety of toucans, carousels, and many other free-flighted birds can be spotted near this habitat, like the black-necked Arasari, Crestadora Pendula, Yellow Rumped Cacique, Toko Toucan. The centerpiece is Monkey Island. We'll get multiple views of the exhibit as we make our way down the trail. From the third level, we can spot various waterfowl in the lake below, as well as a white-faced sake monkey in the trees. Across from Monkey Island, we spot Pied Tamarins. Mm -hmm. 
next to the Pied Tamarins, we get our first look in the giant otter exhibit. Down the path, we come across the rapids. On the right, we spot a waterfall. The enclosure on the left houses white-faced whistling ducks along with various species of tills. Past this, we head into a tunnel and into the Cloud Forest Trek. The first exhibit on the left is home to Channel Build Toucans. Up in the trees, we'll spot a brown-throated three-toed sloth. In the back left corner, cotton-top tamarins can be spotted among the vines and branches. On the back wall, we'll find various terrariums housing many different types of toads and poison frogs. In front of the terrariums, we come across an open top circular waterfall fish tank home to colorful parrot cichlids. Along the right wall and behind the thick foliage, we can spot the southern poodoo. Backtracking and heading in the opposite direction of the cloud forest, we come across Kill Build Toucans. And the Pygmy Marmoset. Down the path, we spot the mini banded Arasari. Down the path, we get an overhead view of Crocodile Cove and catch our first glimpse of the Orinoco Crocodile. The multi-leveled Katinga Corner is home to capuchin birds, umbrella birds, and cock of the rocks. Mm -hmm. 
Here we get an overtop view of the flooded forest exhibit, home to freshwater stingrays, arowanas, and yellow spotted Amazon turtles. Lobo del Rio, or River Wolves, gives us our front view of the playful giant otters. These are the largest of the 13 species found throughout the world. At Lizard Cove, we can spot caiman lizards and red-footed tortoises. Hidden treasures consist of two exhibits, one housing bronze-winged parrots, paradise tanagers, wattled jacanas, purplish-backed quail doves, and golden-headed mannequins. The second is home to golden lion tamarins, red breasts of toucans, and wattled guans. In the cave, we'll spot many colorful species of poison dart frogs, Amazon tree boas, along with double yellow headed Amazon parrots. River's Edge gives us a glimpse of anacondas and various species of fish. Bats and Bugs is home to dwarf caimans, goliath bird eating, and Mexican fire lake tarantulas, as well as vampire bats. Here we get our front view of Crocodile Cove. Past Crocodile Cove, we enter the flooded forest and find aquariums housing Sicilians, electric eels, as well as a pond which is home to yellow spotted Amazon turtles, big toothed river stingrays, and silver arowanas.
Entering Tucon Terrace, we get views of hawk-headed parrots. Waddled Curacao's and a floor view of Monkey Island. We'll also catch our first glimpse of the Atelian manatee. Before heading downstairs, we'll spot an elegant crested tinamou and a saffron toucanette. Above the stairs, Hoffman's two-toed sloths and golden head and lion caverns can be seen. Heading downstairs, exhibits display Suriname toads, dying dart frogs, and we get a glass viewing of the river, which houses Antillian manatee, Arapanas, red-tailed catfish, and a variety of other species of fish and turtles. When we come back to the Dallas World Aquarium, we'll visit the oceans as well as step into Madagascar and Mundo Maya. Until next time, safe travels everyone!